What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Now, it's been almost a month since I've done a lip swatch review, a first impression, so I'm like, hi 2017, are we ready or what? So, I logged on to Sephora.com the other day and there was another luxury brand that decided to drop a liquid lipstick. Now this one I'm really excited about because I love the brand. Burberry are amazing. They have, of course, amazing fashion. So when they launched their makeup brand, I was like, oh, another luxury brand is gonna come for the beauty industry. I know a lot of people really don't talk about Burberry makeup. I don't see it a lot on YouTube, but I've used their highlighters in previous videos last year. I'm obsessed with them. They have a really amazing primer. If you're into glowing for the gods, you definitely need to check this out. They have face makeup, they have bronzers, they have eyeshadow palettes. So. When I saw Liquid Lip, you guys know, Liquid Lip whore right here, I was like, okay, I gotta get this stuff. So, first of all, let's just talk about the packaging because even though it may look a little simple on camera, it, I don't know how to explain it, like the unit carton itself, like the paper feels luxurious, if you know what I mean. It doesn't feel like flimsy and shitty, <laughs> it like feels really nice and it feels heavy. You guys know I love an expensive, heavy product. Not that it has to be expensive price-wise, I just like packaging in general. These are the Burberry Liquid Lip Velvets. It says that it is a bold and matte whipped lip cream. So you guys know I'm gonna go on their website to make sure we have all the facts today. This is the box, of course, and let's just pull one of them out. Here is what the packaging looks like. Ooh. It has the classic Burberry plaid pattern on the top of it. And I love the little frosted component. It looks really cute. Of course, it has the logo there. Everything else is plain except, of course, the shade names and all the information on the bottom of that. All right, now, looking on their website, all of these retail for $34 each, which, of course, because it is a fashion designer name, it's going to be a little more pricey. You know me. I'm like, $34 for a lipstick? It's, I mean... You're, you're paying for the name, of course, and of course, and hopefully the formula is going to be bomb, or uh, we're going to have a problem here. So on the website it says that this is a statement making matte cream lip color with a comforting whipped texture. Okay, so I guess that means it's really lightweight. So this is allegedly developed with an innovative formula that merges a rich pigment, smooth application, and a whipped creamy texture for a bold velvet finish that lasts up to eight. Hours. Okay, this is a good claim because you guys know I always have problems whether what was it? it was the Chanel Armani Everything says long-lasting a lot of the times, but they're not and they come off immediately So this one is allegedly saying eight hour wear which is awesome the color will not dry fade or crack So with this launch they came out with 16 shades. I'm like damn work girl So I bought nine of them. I picked six of them out today nine lip swatches bitch You all know my mouth is gonna fall off on the table so besides that nude one, I got all of these guys here. And I got a nice range of colors, I feel like. So we're gonna test out the formula because a lot of the times the light ones are great and then the dark shades, you're like, what in the fuck happened? So definitely got a bunch to try today. Just so everyone has the entire facts, there's also six millimeters, which is 0 0.2 fluid ounces. That is a standard size for a liquid lip and that is a decent amount of product, which is awesome. So besides that, I think let's dive into it and see if these are Jeffree Star approved. And then also in between, because I always get asked like, how do you keep your mouth so smooth? In between takes, I love to use a lip scrub. It does not have to be mine, but I do have my own that I make. It is vegan and it also has a vitamin E in it and aloe vera and it's edible and it fucking tastes good. Now we're gonna just dive right into this and the first shade that is like gravitating to my Brain. This one is literally just called Peach. Now Burberry is not very creative with their names. They are very straightforward, which I don't know why. Maybe because it's Burberry. I don't really care. But you know, if I'm like oh, some of these brands, the names are so fucking boring. But I don't mind this one for some reason. Now you guys know I love a virgin wand, untouched. So here is what the applicator looks like. Let's put my hand there so you guys can see. It is cute. Now let's go in for the smell. This is so weird. There's literally no smell. I guess if you're bothered by fragrance, um, this is great for you because there's literally zero. Now I think let's go in and see what the hell this formula is all about. Now I need some more product. All the product is off with that amount, which I always talk about if you need like four swipes or you know two dips, one dip. Now it says it's like a whipped cream velvet. It is very true to what it says because 
It's not liquidy at all. It's kind of like thick, but thin. I know that sounds so dumb, thick and thin at the same time, but it's like the texture is thick, but it's applying a little thin, but it's full. I mean, this is full coverage, baby. Now I'm dipping in a fourth time. Girl, I'm putting a workout right now. All right, now let's give this a second and see how long it takes to dry. Now let's just say a few things. The texture of this is so lightweight. It's like really nothing is on my mouth and it feels nice. Okay, it's not dry yet. So let's give it like a minute or two and see what happens. Okay, I'm like a bird. I just love shiny things. I'm like, I just got this new lit glitter in the mail and I'm like, hi, do I need some under eye concealer? All right guys, so it's been about five minutes since we took a little break. I had a glass of water, um, went down on somebody, and I'm looking closely, and here's the thing, is that it's full, full coverage, but it doesn't dry down. Now, it didn't say it was supposed to, it just said that it lasted eight hours. So if you, like, use a straw, it comes off on the straw. But you know what's crazy is even though the pigment came off on that straw, y'all see it come off on my mouth? Cause I don't really see it, that is crazy. Okay, so I'm gonna swatch another color and wipe this off. And you guys, I like, to, I like to really just use makeup wipes in between, it is easy. And then I actually used a beauty blender with a little bit of powder to make sure there is no residue on my lips. So I will be right back. The next shit I'm gonna be trying is called Light Nude and it looks like a light nude. <laughs> All right, let's just pull this out oh. and uh, see what happens. This shade really reminds me of Max Myth. If you guys have tried that out there online, you guys know this is like almost a dupe, but it's like so much softer because it doesn't have that like sheen that the MAC one has, but like, all right. Now I'm gonna give this five minutes and see if it dries down just like the other one and we'll be right back. It has been five minutes and same formula as the other one, which I was hoping that was gonna happen, but you never know because sometimes the light shades are like so gray and then the middle shades are kind of like, uh. I mean, we still have four more to go, but this feels so soft. I wish you could reach through the screen and touch my mouth right now because mm, it feels very moisturizing, very. All right, let's get this off and try the next one. Now, when I saw this red shade, I about died. It looks so pretty in the bottle. I was like, mm, okay. Um, all right, this shade is called Military Red. I love that shade name. It makes me feel like I'm having you know, a six way in the army again. <sighs> Shower memories. All right, let's put this on and see what happens. All right, this is military red. This one is on fire. Now, it was a little harder to get the lines completely straight. I don't know if it was the applicator, maybe my mouth is a little raw, but I just had to go a little slower on the brighter shade, and obviously it's neon. This is a neon red, so you want to be careful, take your time, so you stay in the lines and get that lipstick on. But this one is beautiful, so if you are a red lipstick lover and you're like, okay, these are cute, you have to try this one. Woo! This one is called Fawn Rose. It looks like a soft nude rose type of vibe, which I love those type of colors. So I'm really excited about this one. Ooh, look at that already. Mm-hmm. Okay, I know I just applied this, but I'm already obsessed with this color. It is so pretty. Maybe because it's so soft and it really lets this dress stand out and have a moment. It definitely complements my eye makeup I already have on, but it is really pretty. Woo! I don't even want to take this off, but uh, all right, we got two more. Let's get to them. This next shade is called Dark Rose Wood, and it looks like a soft tone, muted type of brown nude, and it looks right up my alley of shades I love, and uh, here we go. I love these type of shades. It's almost like a chestnutty rose type of vibe. I love the undertone of this one but it definitely looks like a color I've seen a million times from every brand, and obviously this is all about the formula for this one, but this one's cute. Definitely um, not my favorite from all the ones I've swatched, but she cute, she all right. Um, I'm excited to swatch this next one. It is really dark, and I hope it works. Now this last one, oof, look at that color. It's called Black Cherry. It looks like a brown, dark, blackish red. I don't even know what it looks like. It looks like brown in the bottle, but 
I definitely know if it's called Black Cherry. <gasps> oh, you see that? Oh my God. Okay. I'm ready to put this on my mouth. Let's see what's going on. Ooh, you guys know when you do a dark shade, you really gotta make sure it looks snatched. And the shade is really pretty. Now that it's on, you can definitely see the red undertones of this shade. It is really dark and I'm kind of living for it. Whew. All right, I'm gonna let this one dry for a second and then I'm gonna give my final thoughts. Whew. All right guys, we got through another swatch video together. Now, let me give my final thoughts. I think that... <gasps> These are fucking great. I am so pleasantly surprised because I have had a bad track record with luxury brands and their liquid lipsticks. Last year I had a lot of not so great moments, especially with the Chanel ones, the Armani ones, you guys know, and if you haven't, I'm gonna link down all my lip swatch videos in the description box below. So if you wanna catch up on them, you definitely can. But this formula is really great. The coverage is beautiful. I'm just gonna say that right now, every shade had easy coverage. Now, I thought it was still, it's still haunting me that there was no smell to it, which is kind of awesome, but also like, what the hell, girl? I'm gonna investigate those ingredients when I'm done with this video. But besides that, you guys, everything was really great. They were easy to apply, they blended like, I mean, they blended really easy. There was no complaints on my end, but I am gonna share with you one little con that I did have with this is the applicator was a little small for my liking. And I know some brands have this small of a doe foot, but to me, I feel like it should've been a little more, maybe a little taller, maybe a little flatter, but I feel like just because with the formula, with other products with gloss or other liquid lips, I've seen these before, it's easy, but I felt like I had to like dunk in the tube like four to five times, which is really not normal for me. It's usually like, you know, twice, maybe three times. So that was really my only complaint was that. Besides that, I thought the packaging was cute. It's sturdy, it feels nice, and all the colors were great. I can't believe there's really nothing negative to say about a liquid lip. And guess what? The Burberry Liquid Lip Velvets are Jeffree Star approved. So if you guys don't mind spending a little extra money on maybe one or two of these shades, I would highly recommend trying them out. I think my favorites that really stood out to me were the Military Red and then the Light Nude. I'm definitely gonna be bringing this on some trips because she needs to go for a ride. Thank you so much for watching another First Impressions lip swatch video. We are so early on in the year and I know a lot more brands are gonna come out with liquid lips. I heard that, I uh, heard a little rumor that Urban Decay is about to drop some, so you know I'm gonna be swatching that on my channel. If there's any more products that I haven't heard of yet or you guys want me to try, sound off in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Mwah. Bye guys.